A man has told Sky News he had an axe held to his throat during a brawl that erupted on a suburban Darwin street. Let's go live to Matt Cunningham, who's at the scene. Matt, uh, how many people were actually involved? Well, potentially a dozen or more, uh, Tom. If you have a look at this vision that was taken uh, by a woman who lives in a block of flats next to this street, it's quite confronting. This happened at 1 o'clock on Friday afternoon uh, in the suburb of Moyle in Darwin's northern suburbs. And uh, the woman who, who shot this vision says that she was terrified by uh, what she witnessed outside her front window. Now, I have managed to come, uh, catch up with one of the people who was involved in this incident. He says that the people involved were from the community of Wad Air. We know there have been a lot of issues in that community over the past 18 months, a lot of clan violence taking place in Wad Air, a lot of people from Wad Air also moving into Darwin, and we're seeing some of that violence spill out onto the streets here. But this man, uh, Rocky Kumi, has told me uh, that he was threatened and had an axe held to his throat uh, during that confrontation on Friday. To uh, my sister's camp, but this very near, he was running. They ca came with the minibus. They came running with the uh, axe. Why did they want to attack you? I don't know. I've also spoken this morning with the woman who shot that vision we just showed you, Tom. She says that uh, she's absolutely terrified after having that take place next to her home. She lives there. She's a single parent, lives there um, with her two children, including uh, a six-month-old baby. Here's a bit of what she had to say. I was in my bedroom with the aircon, and it's really noisy, so I heard screaming outside. And I went to see what's going on, and I saw a bunch of people holding a guy down with an axe at his neck here. So I really thought he was dead at the moment. She also told me that there had been threats of retribution against her after she took that video and posted it on social media. Here's what she had to say about that. The next day I was sitting at my balcony having a break from the baby and there was a man who came, he was starting yelling at me, threatening me, this is my land, you can't do stuff like that, you're the one who took the video, swearing at me a lot. And luckily there was a guy with a van driving through and he saw what happened and he asked me if I'm okay, I said no, he's threatening me. So he called the police. This was one of a series of violent incidents recorded across the Northern Territory uh, over the past three days. Tom, there was a carjacking in Darwin uh, on Saturday night and in Alice Springs on Friday night there was an incident. We've got some vision of it here uh, where five cars were stolen from a business in Alice Springs, uh, mostly by teenagers. Those cars were then driven dangerously and erratically around the Alice Springs CBD. So uh, a worrying crime wave that we're experiencing and not just in Alice Springs though, as you can see from that, uh, that Axe video, Tom, uh, some worrying issues here in Darwin as well. Yeah, you revealed on, on Saturday the NT government has asked Police Commissioner Jamie Chalker to resign. Any comment yet from the government? None, Tom. We are waiting to hear from uh, the Northern Territory Chief Minister, Natasha Files. She is expected to give uh, a news conference uh, at around about lunchtime today, so perhaps in about two hours' time. Now, uh, my understanding is that on Friday, the government asked the Police Commissioner, Jamie Chalker, to resign. It's understood that they've lost confidence in him uh, to continue on in that role. Michael Murphy, the Deputy Commissioner, uh, is the Acting Commissioner. He has been appointed the Acting Commissioner at the moment. We are told only that that Jamie Chalker, the police commissioner, is on leave. No confirmation or denial from the government that they have asked him to resign. Uh, we did hear a little bit earlier from Kerry Joy, a former police officer. He spoke to Laura Jays. Now, one of the issues I'm told that has prompted the government's decision is a crisis in morale in the Northern Territory Police Force. There was a recent survey done by the Northern Territory Police Association that found more than 80% of officers said that morale was either low or very low, and I'm told that between four and 600 officers are calling in sick during any one pay period. Here's what the former police officer, Kerry Joy, had to say about police morale. My associates or ex-colleagues that are still in the job uh, are constantly uh, incredibly understaffed. The, the volume of work in Alice Springs is unbelievable. The, the amount of investigations our, our officers are carrying is, is terrifying. Um, coupled with uh, the fact that, you know, they don't have any faith or trust in, in their commissioner. 
So we are expecting to hear from Natasha Files, the Chief Minister. In the next couple of hours, Tom will obviously bring you any updates as they come to hand.